Good afternoon, welcome back to Taiwan. We are still in Kaohsiung. We were actually supposed to leave Kaohsiung today. Uh, we had rented our apartment until today, but we decided we liked it here a lot and we extended our apartment for one week. We've um, been here for about five weeks now. Yeah. And today we're gonna do something that we really haven't done before because if you've been watching our videos, you'll probably have noticed that so far we have really been very yeah. quite strongly focused on going out into nature and places that are uncrowded. Yeah, we didn't really go into the city center yet or like the main places here in the city. We avoided a bit. We went more to nature. That was a conscious areas effort to and, do and social distancing. And, and areas where we know there would not be too many people. But today actually marks the 26th consecutive day where Taiwan has had zero, zero new local cases of the coronavirus, which is a pretty good winning spree, I would say. You're doing a really good job here at containing the virus, at keeping everyone safe, which is also why we started thinking that maybe now is the appropriate time to start returning more to a little bit of a normal life. To be clear, we, we still wear our masks. I mean, it's in my backpack right now because I'm in a park and there is literally no one even within five meters of me except for the person holding this camera. We do still keep our social distance even when we wear the mask. We're not gonna go out into crowded areas, but today we are going to go somewhere that we have been delaying a bit, postponing a bit as well. Just like in the last video, we went to the night market. Today we're gonna go to downtown Kaohsiung because downtown sort of sounds synonymous with potentially slightly more crowded than remoter parks and very green open areas but we're gonna go there today and see what it's like of course we'll still be careful goes without saying but we thought it was time to slightly slowly ever so slowly return to a more normal life given the fact that the risk of transmission locally is so low at the moment we are already in downtown Kaohsiung you wouldn't say it's a very green very pondy is that a word pondy very pondy area. What he means <laughs> is that there's just a pond and this pond is actually super clear. The water is so yeah. clear. The pond is about one meter deep and it's crystal clear. You can see the bottom. Wait, I will show you. I'm not sure if you can see it, but just look how clear the water is. You can see the rocks down there and... This is called Central Park and this is already part of the downtown Kaohsiung area. And we're just gonna explore a little bit of the park right now. And then to we're gonna into things. To like, ease into things. We're so like, used to being in nature, being yeah. in parks, being... To make the transition and then we'll head into the real downtown city center. Ever since we arrived here in Taiwan, in order to determine for us what is safe and socially acceptable to do, we just try to take a cue from the locals and then be a little bit more cautious even in addition to that. Of course we follow all the rules from the government, but there aren't that many limitations in terms of what you can and cannot do. You have to keep the social distance, they do advise wearing a mask when you're in crowded public places. But other than that, if you've seen our previous videos, you'll probably know that life is pretty normal here. There have been no lockdowns. No, people are not being asked to stay at home. You can just go outside, you can go to a restaurant, you can go shopping, but we haven't really done that much of those things because we just wanted to be super cautious, basically. Mid-April, Taiwan experienced a coronavirus infections cluster of 30 plus cases aboard one of its Navy ships that had docked in Kaohsiung, close to where we are staying. Because of a loophole in checks upon disembarking the ship, some of the infected sailors for a few days moved freely around the city before being diagnosed. This sparked concern among locals that the cluster could trigger a new wave of local infections. Fortunately, it seems Taiwan's contact tracing teams and interactive maps showing all locations that have been frequented by the sailors have done their job and that the situation is well under control. While we are still being careful, today we'll also slowly be returning to a few activities that we haven't done in a while. You can tell that it's starting to get a little bit more lively again. So that's also why we feel like it's appropriate to do more. Cue creepily staring at locals while they play tennis. And even though the risk is very low, you can still see most of the locals wearing their masks all the time. We usually wear a mask all the time as well. Now we just took them off just to talk to the camera. To be, on no, to be honest, we took them off because we cycled here and in this 30 <laughs> yeah, degrees true. Celsius weather. It's, it's hotter than that even. We were sweating buckets. So you yeah. have to take them off. Otherwise, there's no purpose if you're going to sweat them On the bicycle, we took them off and now there's not that many people around. So we'll put them on in a fine. minute. We're going to put them back on. But so even though the risk is very, very low, you still see the locals being very cautious still wearing their masks keeping distance people tend to hang out in groups of two three people and that's it generally people tend to keep a bit more to themselves still but now i think it's time to explore a bit more of downtown Kaohsiung. 
I am ready. We made it to one of the main shopping malls here in downtown Kaohsiung. This is the FE21 Mega Department Store and it does look very mega to me. Yeah, it I'm does. not sure how many of the floors are actual stores and maybe some uh, offices or something. And we're here because we have encountered a bit of a clothing emergency. I am down to just three t-shirts, two of which have holes in them. So yeah. I have postponed going to clothing store for weeks now. But I knew that at some point I was going to have to and I think Today's that moment today. Has come. So we're gonna head into the shopping mall. So we have 17 floors of shopping here, or at least 12, 13 floors of shopping and then three floors of a cinema. Holy crap. Wait, Someone this is the metro. Off. We need to okay. take the other one. Oh, it's really cool in here. Someone yeah, it's 10 like degrees lower. Into a fridge. So we think this is the door, the right door. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. So before you can enter, they check your temperature here, which is always good so that if you have a fever, at least you, you, they detect it. It also is when you ever enter government buildings or when you, even when you enter the metro, they, you need to have your temperature checked. Oh, it is really cold here. I should have worn scarf, <laughs> a scarf, a sweater and then long trousers or something. It's a, it's, it's a very big temperature difference. Today is a very hot day. I think it was 32 degrees today. I think in here it's like 22. Yeah, so it's about a 10 degree difference. So when we have to go outside again in a few minutes or in an hour or so, then uh, it will be a horrible experience, but for now, it's okay, I guess. One of the main reasons we've been postponing coming to a shopping mall is because we were afraid that it was going to be super busy yeah. and hence risky, but There's I mean... No people I, it's a very big floor and I can see about 10 people walking around and shopping, maybe Maybe 20. Fifth, maybe 20, but that's it. It's like a very, very big floor. I thought we were looking for clothes for me. Yes, we are. What you doing? I don't know. This is the men's department. I was just checking out, see if I can buy some more shorts. I mean, they're fairly cheap here, so... What do you think? It's time for some uh, more shorts because the weather is getting really, really hot here. I think it looks good. And it's super cheap as well, no? It's like... 12 13. euros, 13 dollars, so very, yeah. very affordable. I think I'm gonna take this one. You look handsome. Are you happy with him? Always happy. Thank you. For some reason, when you're traveling, your clothes tend to wear out a lot quicker than when you're just at home. I don't know why, maybe because of the backpacks you wear and the way it is washed here in different ways. The and sweating, the, the sunscreen sweating. and the bug repellent and yeah. the fact that you wear the same few t-shirts all the time during a also year. True, also true, but always have to have something new. So for now all we found is Naik's shorts, which ironically we weren't looking for. We were looking for some t-shirts for me, but most of the things that they have here in the Women's department is either more like this, which is a little bit too Kim meets the jungle and goes exploring with a hat and a khaki shirt, or that, which is also very, very, very colorful. So we're gonna head off and head to a shop that maybe is something that I'm more familiar with and where it's easier for me to find something that I like. We made it to another shopping mall. It's gotten dark, as you can see. There's quite a few more people here than there were in a previous shopping mall, but it is, of course, Friday evening, Friday night. Everyone is off from work. It's like Christmas in here. <laughs> now we know where everybody's been hiding all this time. Now we know in where the all the people court. are. Look at that. They're all here. Downstairs food court, that's where the people hide on a Friday evening. But still, I mean, it's still everyone relatively quiet. Everyone is wearing mm -hmm. masks. Yeah. Almost everyone, the guy next to you is. Good God. We got ourselves with what is what uh, she just told me. This is the lime juice for sure. This is the bubble tea. I love bubble tea. That has been the revelation of this trip here in Taiwan. Bubble tea is awesome. 
Before I just thought it was a little bit weird, but yeah. It's, it's just a little bit weird if you walk around here, you know, how how normal life is here in Taiwan because nothing is closed, everything is open, you can do pretty much everything that you want. All you have to do is use your common sense, like use hand sanitizer, stuff like that, but you can go pretty much anywhere and have a pretty normal life. Most people like us stay inside quite a bit, but they do come here on occasion and I guess as long as not everyone does it, it's fine, but it's also just a little... Sharp, right? Push it like you mean it. It's just a little bit weird if you read the news about what is happening at home, how many new cases there are every day, what is happening in Europe in general, in the US, other parts of Asia. I mean, there are so many places in the world that are on lockdown, people are being asked to stay at home, and here in Taiwan, everything is just so normal, which is so nice. We're so happy to be here, but it's also super weird because you almost feel bad for going outside or for doing stuff. I mean, I sometimes feel a little bit guilty about everything we get to do here when I think of everyone at home who can't do it. And on the other end, we did have feedback when we started posting these Taiwan videos. I was like, well, isn't that like rubbing it in everyone's face, how everything is safe here in Taiwan and you can go around pretty much as normal. But then we got so much positive feedback from you on how our videos actually help you a little bit to take your mind off the situation where you are and to show that there are still parts of the world that are normal and that we will return to a normal world at some point. On the one hand, very grateful. On the other hand, it's super, super weird. Especially because we read the news about Belgium and Europe in general every, pretty much every single day. And the message there is always stay at home, don't go outside. In Belgium, you're not allowed to go outside except to get food or just go for a walk by yourself or by somebody who lives at the same place that you are, and that's it. Nobody's allowed to go outside to do stuff. You're not allowed to sit outside on a bench or in the park. You're not even allowed to have friends over at your house, all those kind of stuff. So the message there is always stay inside. Don't go near other people, flatten the curve. So that's kind of the mindset yeah, you take over a bit because you read it every day and then when you get the chance here to go outside, when you go outside, it feels it feels weird, it feels slightly wrong almost. At some point, every it's difficult, right? Yeah, but I got it on the second try, which is 10 times better than you did. It's hard. But at some stage, everyone who's currently under lockdown, yeah, this, this is really good as well. Look, good. the bubbles, look at the move. I have a lime juice with kumquat. Oh, really refreshing, very sour. This feeling, I guess, is going to come for everyone at some stage mm -hmm. when the lockdowns are lifted and life slowly returns to normal. I remember the, the first day when we got to go outside after our mandatory home quarantine in Taipei here, the first 14 strange, days, strange. was so weird. That felt wrong going yeah, outside. Yeah, we saw people walking outside in the streets and shops and sitting at restaurants. I was like, oh are God, you? what's happening? People, what are you doing? Yeah, don't do it. But yeah, yeah. the feeling gets better and better over time. This we bought at the supermarket here, at the Kalafu, which is actually a brand, a chain, that we also have at home in Belgium. This is called Melon Bread. So good. It has a filling on the inside. It tastes nothing like melon. I don't know why the name says melon. It tastes nothing like melon. It's just It looks like bread. a melon. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh-huh. There's a filling. <laughs> Familiar territory. Yeah. I think this one is approved a normal plain black t shirt, but it fits me pretty well. It's only 150, 149, so 4 euro 55 dollars. I would say that that is a steal. I feel a little bit like an optical illusion. Like, brrrr, all the lines will be... Does it suit you, though? <laughs> the optical illusion suits me? Yes. To the next one. From optical illusion to Easter egg. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. I like this one better than the last one. Yeah, huh? it looks very sunny. I like it. It's cheerful. Curl. It's cheerful. It is. I kind of like it. Yeah, but this is the lacy bit of the top and this is my bra. So oh, okay. <laughs> the doctor has decided 
these two, yes, the other four, not not gonna make the cut. Sorry, but no, so I can't leave them here. <laughs> I have to them here. It's now time to visit one of the more iconic places here of downtown Kaohsiung. It's uh, something when you look up list of things to visit or places that are really nice to go and see. This pops up always as one of the top ones. This might sound odd, but the place we are going to, which is one of the places to see here in Kaohsiung, is actually an MRT station, a metro station. But it's supposed to be really cool and really colorful. I thought it was the outside that had the lights display. It's nice and modern, but no lights display, so maybe inside. Oh yeah, no, look, there it is. But it's not really what I expected, I mean... No, when you see the pictures, it looks, I don't know, it looks different than you see now. I mean, it's very beautiful and very colorful. Uh, there's some, I don't know, drawings on it of some, I think some mystical things, and then some fire and water stuff, and... It is nice, but everything we've seen of Kaohsiung over the past few days and weeks, I don't think it qualifies as one of the top things to do. The city is a lot better than this in terms of the best things you can do here. As it turns out, this metro station has a direct connection to the metro station that is right around the corner from our apartment. So since it is a Friday and since it is about 10.30 p.m. in the evening, we thought it would be a safe time and a safe bet to now try to take the MRT. Previously we avoided it for crowds, but I don't yeah, we think... we haven't taken any metros here, even though we have a metro station just right next door where we live. So. And even though quite a few locals have recommended us and told us that it's safe, yeah. as long as you wear a mask. I mean, given the low infection rate, given that so many people wear masks. There is literally nobody here. Just security and us, so we're gonna give it a go. Hey, we have a ticket. Look, it's just a token. I think we're gonna have our temperature checked again over here with the thermal scanner. Oh, that's us in two minutes. So much for my theory about there not being other people. They queue up nicely though. Respecting the yeah, careful indeed. distance. But it's funny because it seems like there was literally no one, no other passenger except for that lady on the escalator and now like the there's quite a few actually. They've all been hiding here in queues. In silence. They're in so silence. silent. Passengers. This is the most people we have had in one space in many, many weeks actually. You barely I could get stuck though. I mean, uh oh, I'm stuck. <laughs> A wrong I'm turn somewhere we do. Help. I'm stuck. Thank you. Much better. Let's take the stairs because. Yeah, stairs! But at least now we have solved the mystery of where all Taiwanese people hang out. It turns out that late afternoon they're at the food court and late in the evening they're uh, in the MRT subway station. Especially in this one, the Zuyuang station. They're all here. All of them. We are oh, home yet again. Home. Alrighty. And someone recently told us in the comment section on one of our videos that that quote in Chinese above our couch actually means good night, which we otherwise probably never would have found out about because nope. the letters are so stylized that you can't Google translate them. So it was an interesting day for us, especially the metro bit. I was like, uh, that's a lot of people. Yeah, that oh. was a, a lot more people than expected, right? I mean, it takes some getting used to, but it's safe, so. Thank you guys for watching. We really hope you enjoyed this. If you did, leave a like. And if you want to see more of our adventures, hit that subscribe button. And we will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.